All right, guys, looks like we are ready. I see a little, like, lightning things coming out of here, so we need to get ourselves a living rock. And as you can see, I was making some day blooms and uh, nightshades in my inventory while I was just waiting. And let's put that there. Let's get the... There we go. Oh, wait, what? What What was that achievement? Does that mean I got all the runes? Maybe it does. Let's check. Achievements. Minecraft. Batania. Oh, that was it. Where is it? Ooh. Invader girl. Ooh. Rotten heresy and shot. Ugh. There's some interesting achievements here. Casual gun. There's the day bloom thing. Vivid wave. Upgrade. Okay, that's interesting. Make a day bloom in the petal apothecary. Liam doll. There it is. Uh, create a... Wait, what? Use a... Oh, I guess that's because I didn't get the achievement. Okay. That uh, kind of makes sense. And now we need to make Dancer in the Dark. Conjure a Terra Steel Ingot using the Terrestrial Agglomeration Plate, which we're going to be making right now. So let's get ourselves the Rune of Water. And there it is. The Terrestrial Agglomeration Plate. But I don't have any inventory space, so I need to put this up here. There you go. <laughs> and, uh... Oh, barley seeds. Oh, yeah. I was about to say, like, I was out of... Uh, I was out of seeds, but I already had seeds in my inventory. All right, well, I guess I can continue making some more uh, day blooms here in a second. Let's see, what was I doing? So we need light blue, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yellow. Of course. Let's get ourselves some yellow. Where'd that go? There it is. Let's make ourselves five more day blooms. One, two, one, two, boom. And one, two, one, two, boom. I'm getting in the hang of this. Look at this. Oh, whoops, never mind. Why does it say that? <laughs> uh, let's get ourselves the, uh... Yeah, there you go. Whew. Let's grab that. And get ourselves one light blue, one orange, and the seeds. There you go. <laughs> Don't want to get too overconfident over here. And the seeds. And the final one, because I don't have any more seeds. And there you go. Nice. So how many day blooms do we have? Six? Oh, nice. Six day blooms, six uh, nightshades. Perfect. So we have the thing over here, Terra Steel Agglomeration Plate, which we put in the middle of this thing. And I guess we just kind of put the uh, the Mana Diamond, the Mana Pearl, the Mana... What, what is the third thing that we need? We need Mana Diamond, Mana Pearl, and something else. There's that, there's that. Let's check in the Lexi Botania real quick. Figure out what that last piece to the puzzle is. And blah, 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 that's not it. Uh, there it is. Power portal to Alfheim. There you go. And, ooh, missed it. There you go. And, uh, mana, pearl, mana, down. oh, mana still, god, I'm dumb. <laughs> okay, let's go get ourselves a mana pearl. Let's go get ourselves a, uh, let's go request that from the fellow that gives us free stuff. Even though it's not free, it costs mission outlook. <laughs> but, uh, let's put the, uh, there it is right there, quest book. Uh, god, I was just right there. And, ender pearl. Noise. Let's go through that side of the thing. And that will give us the last piece to the puzzle. There we go. And I guess we'll just right click it, right? Or throw it? What do we do with this? I have no idea. Because the book tell literally tells me nothing. Maybe they all have to be... Like that? Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> There's probably some Batania. Expert in the comments freaking out right now. Okay, so you put mana pearl, mana steel, mana diamond somewhere, and then that turns into a terra steel. I don't believe that. Uh, let's see. Let's look up the terra steel. There it is. Terra steel. There it is. Terra steel is a blah 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 blah. I guess this would tell us. After the plate is set up and ready to receive mana, tossing a single mana steel ingot, blah blah blah, on top of it will begin the illusion. Picking up any of the items will halt the illusion, or the infusion. Did I call the first one illusion? Infusion. <laughs> but uh, will halt the infusion and cause severe mana loss. The infusion requires half a mana pool total to create a single piece of terrorist. Okay, so we do need to to redirect things over here. Okay, that's not a big deal. Let's get this into uh, binding mode. There we go. Get that. Over there. Hopefully it's... Oh, it's working. It's doing something. And I... Okay, there we go. I was about to say, I'm kind of... Kind of oh, wait. Why are these like... 
going that way now. That's confuzzling as heck. All right, well, let's wait until these, uh, hopefully turn into a Terra Steel ingot. And then, of course, we're to do it a second time. Let's get ourselves another Ender Pearl. Go we'll throw that in the thing. There you go. Get another Terra Steel. Get another Mana Diamond. There we go. Oh, whoa. Whoops. There goes all my diamonds. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, well, there you go. We have six. Can I turn that back? I don't think I can. Mana Tablet. Huh. I don't know what that's for. There's the other guns and stuff. Block of Mana Diamond. Tainted Blood Pendant. Runic Altar. And that gives us the Rune of Lust. <gasps> but now I have six Mana Dimes. I don't need that much. Jeez. Whoops. Well, there you go. Is this working? That might be working. I don't know. It said it needed half a mana pool worth of mana, so I assume sooner or later that'll work. Either that or I'll have to rebuild rebuild it, maybe? I don't know. I think I'm going to pause the recording real quick. Wait for this to hopefully do something. Hopefully the items don't despawn. And, uh... Blah, blah, blah. Multiple sparks would make it go faster. What is a spark, then? I don't know. Either way, looks like it's actually doing something, so I'm just going to pause the recording real quick. See if it actually does something, and I'll see you guys here in a bit. Well, that was unsuccessful. Seems like it just did a big boatload of nothing. I assume the items despawned, and because they despawned, the thing just kind of halted. But I did do a little bit of research into the, the sparks thing, and it's really interesting. Placing a spark on top of a mana pool and another on top of a block that can accept it, I assume. The, uh, the little agglomeration thing down there will accept it no problem uh will allow for the ladder to remotely access the reservoirs of mana pool when needed given it's not too far away now i don't know what the block limit of this is i assume it's not too bad but they are you know decently close but they are like diagonal so i don't know if like this would be better because it's like like right there and i did like start filling this one up with mana just because why not so, I don't know. Maybe. I'm like, that's taking forever to fill it with mana, so I assume, you know, it'd take forever for this one to fill it with half of a thing full of mana as well. Hmm. Probably need to place down these day blooms and stuff, by the way. <laughs> Probably a good idea to, you know, place those down and get some use out of them. There you go. Place down the nightshades, like so. Place down a le day bloom, like so. And I guess we just... Start on this next new row. There you go. And the day blue, or uh, the nightshade. There you go. Alright, hopefully that's good enough. But, uh, yeah, I don't think it's really providing too much mana, is it? Let's get our wand of the thingy to thing. Now, I don't know why there's two. Wait, what are these? What is that? I don't know. Well, there's the mana spreader things are like. Facing over there. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Let's make these uh, spark things. See if this will work. So it looks like you need uh, two of any mana petal, a gold nugget, and some blaze powder. I don't know if we have any extra blaze powder. Yeah, we have one left over. And you need six. So we need to request it from the guy. So there's two more blaze powder there. So you want to get us up to three. Now what's the cooldown on that? Uh, Cooldown is six hours, which is actually pretty fast in Minecraft time. <laughs> so let's see, what do we need? Oh yeah, two of any mana petal, which we have some white mana there. I think we just get, uh, just throw them inside a mana pool and that'll give us some mana petal, right? Yep, and yep, there you go, noise. <laughs> and uh, now we just have to wait for the thing to reset. Get ourselves another blaze rod thing. And looks like it resets in three hours, which says the cooldown is six hours. And it resets in three hours. So I guess three hours already went by? I don't know. Either way, I'm going to go to bed. Just so it's not nighttime anymore. Hello there, doggy. I know you got your butt in my face. <laughs> Alright, there you go. And let's check up on the thing. And it's still on cooldown for one more hour. Okay, not too bad. And in the meantime, we can get ourselves a gold nugget. There you go. Just, well, actually, we need two of these. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, this is going to get decently expensive. Hmm. So we need two gold nuggets. What else do we need? Uh, the blaze powder, of course. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. More of those mana petals. Okay. Not a big deal on those mana petals. Let's just get two more of those. Throw those over. Yeah. There you go. And hopefully I could 
fill what I'm thinking is make the mana go from there to there and then make this, put the spark thing here to here just because I'm kind of weary about the, the distance between that and that. I don't know if that'll like the spark little connection would work properly there. Either way, let's see. How am I going to do this? How am I going to do this? Uh, oh, yeah, I did see him. Well, where was it? It was uh, here, wasn't it? The mana tablet. I think I I did a little bit of research on that. And it's pretty good stuff. Do I have any uh, mana? Uh, what is it called? Stone. Living stone. I don't think I have any living stone. Does it work with limestone? Maybe it does. I don't know. Uh, I don't think I want to risk it for the biscuits. Let's, get, uh, let's just go to our furnace over here. Grab ourselves the basalt. Go throw that over there by the thing. All the pure daisies. Let them do their thing. There you go. And let's try and make that mana tablet. Now, apparently that mana tablet, like you can transfer mana from one thing to another. So I assume we can put mana from there, put it inside the mana tablet, and put it over there. And then put the spark there, there, and then let it, you know, transfer like that. Huh. Okay, well, let's see if that'll actually work. I guess we're just going to have to wait on this all to finish real quick. But, uh, actually, let's get the lumber axe. Let's try and break all this real lady split like. There you go. There you go. I need to use that little hungry chest over there more often. Or what was it called? Traveling trunk? I need to use that thing more often. Seems like a really, really handy little tool, but I like literally, literally never use it. It just kind of sits there forever like a regular old little chest. Look at his eyes. He's sad. He's bored. He wants to do something. He wants to eat something. Here. Oh, wait, no. He's not a hungry chest. He's just a traveling trunk. <laughs> Don't forget about that. Anyways, uh, I think I'm just going to have to wait. Wait a little while. And, oh, wait, speaking of waiting. Quest book. Another... Blaze, but oh wait, <gasps> wait, can we not? Oh, I guess our inventory is full. <laughs> I was about to say, like, can we really not request another thing? Jeez, there you go. And let's get ourselves there. You go get the mana petals, I think, like that. And I think the uh, living rocks are converting right behind me, so there you go. And we just need two more blaze powder, okay? All right, well, let's grab all these two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. There we go. That's all we need for the mana tablet thing, which I guess we have to make over here because <laughs> that crafting table is in use. Let's go over here. Let's get the mana diamond. And, oh, wait. I counted eight, didn't I? Did I not pick up one of them or? Oh, yeah, I guess I didn't. <laughs> I was about to say I counted eight and I got only seven. There you go. And get the mana tablet. There you go. And I guess we just put up some of the extra trash in our inventory that we're not using. There you go, there you go. And bone meal, not using that anymore. And I think that's it. Cheers, don't need that anymore either. And let's check up on the cooldown of the... Oh wait, there you go, another blaze rod. Don't mind if I do. And now we can make the first spark. Unless it makes two at a time. <gasps> Ooh, yeah, there's the first one. Noise just got that achievement, Ada. <laughs> and now we need to put this here. And then I think we used a wand thing, or a... Uh, bind mode to bind that to this and we need to put a spark above that they might need to be level i'm not 100 percent sure these don't need to be level they can just aim down so i assume that's not the it's not a problem anyways what was i doing uh i guess i can check up on the blaze rod thing <laughs> one more hour there what was i doing oh yeah the tablet thing what am i i am stupid i already have the tablet so how do we fill this up I guess we could read about it. Let's figure out what do we do with this tablet? Mana tablet. While using mana spreaders to transport mana around is all well and good, there is also a way of doing it in a different manner. The mana tablet is a portable object which can carry mana on itself. Not only that, but other items can pull from it as they need it for their uses, making this an essential tool. Tossing one of these Oh, okay, so you have to toss it on top of it. Tossing one of these on top of a mana pool will allow for transport of mana between one and another. Shift right-clicking on the mana pool with a wand of focus, or the wand of forest, will change in which the way the mana flows. So, I don't know what that means, but lastly, unlike normal items, these will never despawn when dropped on the floor. Nice. And there's the recipe. All right, well, let's fill this up. And I don't think it's doing anything. Yeah, I think we have to change this to 
accepting mana from items to sparing mana to I okay I think it's filling it up now Ooh, yeah look at that little connection right there noise and yeah you can see the water going down too man how much did that hold taff huh I wonder if this will work with that maybe we don't have to use the sparks thing it's still going down does this hold a whole mana pool worth a mana Man, that's crazy. Anyways, let's uh, get another blaze rod. Man, I'm losing so many of these uh, little points over here. <laughs> but it's all worth it. Hopefully. Hopefully I don't need to make those sparks things. And is that done? I think it's done. Yeah, it's not going down anymore. All right, well, let's grab that back. Let's change that back to whatever mode it was. Accepting mana from items. And yep, it's completely fine. How much mana is that? Oh, I guess it doesn't tell me. I wonder. Let's look at it again. Uh, Blah, blah, blah. Let's see, a mana tablet is a portable object that which can carry a mana on itself. Not only that, but other items can also pull from it as they need it for their uses, making this an essential tool. I wonder if we can like place it here, just like on the ground randomly, and this can maybe use it? I don't know. Either way, let's throw that there, or, or right click, shift right, wait, how do we put it back in there again? Uh, shift right clicking the mana pool with a wand of focus, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I think we have to turn this. Is it filling up? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's filling up just really slowly. I didn't notice it there. <laughs> Let's check the mana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The little bar down there is definitely, definitely a little bit short. All right, well, there's that. Let's get another uh, blaze rod. There you go. And now we're two thirds. Yeah, two thirds the way to getting the next sparks thing. There you go. And let's see. Yeah, that's still filling up. Whoo, man, that is crazy. Is that empty? Yeah, that's empty. <laughs> oh, completely empty. All right, well, we can fill that up again. Turn that into sparing mana mode. Hashtag mana mode. And... Yeah, is this going to be empty at all the way? If so, then that'd be crazy as heck. And it's... Empty. Yep, there you go. It's gone. Completely gone. Huh. There you go. And grab that back and put that back like so and that's gonna fill it all the way up to the brim hater <laughs> anyways let's see uh blaze from one more hour god okay is that almost done huh you can like see the uh see the mana tablet thing like slowly draining like it, it gets less blue inside of it that's really interesting anyways let's see should be able to get that yep uh nope one more hour god ah come on time Father time, why are you taking forever? Let's go back to the supplier. Blade cut. Wait, what? Oh, there we go. All right, I was wondering, like, it's not on cooldown anymore. Why is it not letting me request it? Anyways, there's the second spark. So I think we just need to put these, that there. Bind them together. Bind. Oh, whoops, that. Hold on, wait, what, how do I? How do I bind these together then? Oh, oh, it's working, I think. Okay, I think it's working. Okay, let's try it out. Mana steel, mana pearl, mana diamonds. Place them down, I guess, like so. Oh, I think they might have to be on top of it, right? There's that, there's that. And cut. One, two, two. There we go. Oh, it's working. Oh, it's working. Oh, look at that. The, 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 the ground of it is like doing some sort of ancient alien language thing. Too. I never noticed that. Oh, wait. Like the little orbs are going in and out and rotating all around. They weren't doing that at first. Oh, that's taking a ton of mana, too. Holy. Holy. It's working. I think it's working. I think the first time. Oh, Terra Steel. We did it, you guys. The Wobble Gang has just earned the achievement Dance in the Dark. Your discovery of tear steals unlocked more info in your materials and books. That's insane. Wait, how's this still getting filled up with stuff? What? Yeah, I'm confuzzled. <laughs> Anyways, now we can make the Natura pylons. Which I think you just make over here, right? Where's the, uh, there it is right there. There's that. There's that. And there we go. Nate, or Nate. Yeah, Natura pylons. I was about to say, were they called Nature pylons this whole time? <laughs> Anyways. I think you just put them above it like that. And then we go back to the alpha mincy thing. Blah, blah, blah. 
What else did we need? Terra Steel or uh Yeah, Terra Steel. What do oh yeah, the core. Ooh. Now that required yeah, that has like I don't think that has anywhere near enough mana. I think we're gonna have to wait a little while until the mana spreaders uh you know get more mana. But in the meantime, I assume I could just fill up this tablet thing with some more stuff. Like so. Get our uh wand of wand focus thing. Accepting mana, sparing mana, there you go. That fills that up a little bit. I don't know how that's filling that up, but it never despawns, so I guess it's like magically filling up on its own or something. So I'll just leave the tablet there to fill up, because it never despawns, and then, you know, transport it over here, and then we can get our second piece of Terra Steel. And yeah, huh. Anyways, I think I'm going to end it right here, because we got a lot of good progress done lately, none too shabby. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll put my latest videos on our YouTube homepage as soon as I come out, so you don't miss an episode. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time, where hopefully I'm going to do a little bit of research, find out other ways of acquiring mana, you know, faster, because it looks like we're going to need a whole lot more mana. <laughs> and uh, hopefully we'll be able to figure out how to get more mana. And, you know, hopefully power up the portal to Alfheim next episode. So definitely look forward to that. Anyways, thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time. Oh, bye there.